It's getting dark really quick now. Today is December 28 and I'm capturing planets with my telescopes. I'm now getting fascinated with this Planet 9 story and we may be getting a picture of Planet 9 soon. Uh, we may be, you know, one year, two years away from taking a picture, hopefully even sooner, to get a very good idea. We know where it is. We know the location, like the orbit of Planet 9. We just don't know on that orbit where Planet 9 right now is. So they talk about the planets from our school days. You know, we have these nine planets, uh, then they made it into eight. Well, in reality, what we need to know is it's not the eight or nine planets. We actually have a total of 18 planets right now. Remaining 10 planets, Pluto is one of them. They are called dwarf planets or mini planets. But these are planets. You know, they are round, they are gravitationally bound by the sun, they have weather, they all practical purposes. These are real planets. And we were not that familiar with the remaining 10 planets. Pluto, yes, we heard about it, but beyond Pluto and beyond other planets, we don't know. And some of them are orbiting between the Neptune and Pluto orbit as well. So these dwarf planets, they call them TNOs, the trans-Neptunian objects. And some of these planets are gravitationally uh, bound by the sun. But the weird part of these trans-Neptunian objects and their orbits is something has to be keeping them in that orbit. Otherwise, Neptune would have kicked them out of the solar system one day or other day. So something is keeping these planets in their orbits. So something big must be there outside the Neptune, outside the Pluto, somewhere around, which is gravitationally keeping these planets go around. And the calculations now clearly shows that there is every possibility that Planet Nine does exist. It's just a matter of how soon we can take a picture and where it is located. It could be uh, in a very long orbit, like 10,000 to 20,000 years, to make a circle around the sun. It could be size of like five to 10 times size of Earth. It would be rocky, not a gassy planet. So we're getting more data about this Planet Nine. Now, as I go more and more deep into these, the remaining 10 planets, I started learning that at least five are confirmed dwarf. The remaining ones, they're still making measurements to even call them a dwarf planet. But either way, either way, what we are now learning is there are these extreme TNOs, extreme trans-Neptunian objects, meaning they are more than 50 astronomical units or more distance from the sun, right? One astronomical unit is the distance from Earth to the sun, right? So they are kind of beyond Pluto, beyond Neptune areas. And these are extreme distances, like 50 to 100 astronomical units. But the point is not that. We are now finding two confirmed extreme TNOs that are potentially a dwarf planet. That is really weird. So these extreme dwarf planets also have the same characteristics of any other planets. So now this brings us a question. Does it mean there is a planet 10? Or planet X, whatever we call it? Or maybe a primordial black hole? or something weird object out there, which is keeping these extreme TNOs in the orbit. We don't know. So I'm going to show you the pictures of the Saturn that I took. I think there are a lot of people asking about, like, how do you take these uh, 
like how are you able to get the planets pictures so i'm going to show you the real live pictures of the saturn that i captured if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and uh, click on the notifications button and the like button uh, if you give me a like and a thumbs up you are going to get a notification when i post a new video let me show you the live pictures of saturn that i captured so these are the planets that we are dealing with these are the dwarf planets some of them actually are very interesting when we start looking at them we know pluto there is nothing much to talk about actually we do have live pictures of pluto from the voyager and then we have this series this planet is an interesting planet it's a rocky planet and we need to see how exactly this planet is going to turn out to be if it is like no atmosphere there is nothing much of an interest but some of them are almost looking like like a planets like typical planets so this is if i'm right it is haumea so this planet is a dwarf planet it is quite far but this is another interesting one uh then the next one is so the next one is iris so this one is look at that planet it almost looks like maybe moon uh maybe something like that so these are real planets the next one is make make the planet name and this is 45 astronomical units from uh from from the sun and this is quite interesting planet as well uh this one was almost like 86 astronomical units the sedna some of these planets are almost considered as extreme uh neptunian objects the tnos the trans neptunian objects because they are going into the territory of 100 astronomical units this is its own world what we know our solar system is just what the eight planets but there is a big world out there and of course it may be icy who knows how these planets will react and what is all out there uh this is another planet so this is another planet we have this is almost looking like mars kind of planet and the celestia this one is interesting planet too i mean you will be surprised of how many big planets are there and we never heard these names right uh, this is one of those 68 astronomical units and then this is the arcus so this is another one look at the numbers at least i collected these pictures i do wanted to show you the pictures of live pictures of um the saturn so this is a live picture of saturn i wanted to uh, keep it ready for you so that you can get to see them it's a very interesting uh the disk of saturn when you look at whether on the screen whether you are looking through your telescope uh i mean it's a mesmerizing thing when you look at them through the telescope and when you bring it uh, like through a camera make a video of it right uh, there are a bunch of software you could download and stack these pictures and make a beautiful video but i mean for me looking the saturn live like that itself is like satisfying i am i i'm telling you this is a uh, pretty much like dream come true if you do wanted to get to the processing part of it you could go and get a beautiful saturn picture uh, we can soft we can uh, use the software to process this but more than the process i uh preferred actually watching the live view of the saturn i really like looking at 
this looks like a textbook image for me right whenever i look at it but that's not going to give me that the reality right for me when i actually look at the saturn through even though it may be a little bit blurry it is not like you know the best image possible uh, it still gives me that goosebumps that i'm seeing something i have pretty much all the planets uh, including the pluto i'm going to sh- uh, start sharing those pictures and images with you so that's all i have for today uh, please do subscribe to my channel uh, click on the like button uh, make sure uh, to sub so that's all i have for tonight uh, click on the like button click on the notifications button if you do join a member you get those images that i'm sending thank you